Hey LGBTV, my name is Colin and happy Friday! I have had an incredibly busy week. I started school on Monday, which meant I also started an internship at Penn State's LGBT Resource Center. And then my job decided to offer overtime, so I've been working ridiculous hours, and it's nice to just be able to sit down and finally make this video, which I've been scripting for like a week. This week's question is a bit of a tough one. It's what to do when your parents don't like the person that you're dating. This is gonna be very theoretical, but I hope that whatever I say is helpful and here we go. The reason I say this is going to be theoretical is because I've never actually been in a relationship. I've never even, you know, been on a date. So I've never even had a chance for my parents to possibly disapprove of someone that I'm seeing because I've never seen anybody. Totally not angsty about this at all. But here's the way I see it. Your parents want what's best for you, what they think is best for you. That is not necessarily what is best for you. It's, it's difficult when you're under 18 and you don't really have a choice because what your parents say goes, and if you don't listen to them, you face consequences, you face punishment. So the best thing to do is talk to your parents, and it's going to be different for everyone. If your parents don't approve of the person you're dating because of your sexuality and because you're dating them, that just kind of sets it in stone for them. There are a lot deeper issues, and to be honest, I would say see this person without letting your parents know. I've always seen coming out as a very gradual process, and if I'm just coming out to my parents and they're not approving, I would not drop the whole, hey, I have a boyfriend slash girlfriend slash whatever friend. It just won't go over very well. Give them some time to adjust, and to be honest, this might not go over well, but I say keep seeing them and don't get caught. From the viewpoint of me, and I think from the viewpoint of this channel, not being allowed to see someone because of your sexuality is not what is best for you. It is not right, and you shouldn't have to tolerate that. Be careful, understand that it might not be the best relationship you can have, but don't forfeit it for your parents. Now, if your parents are okay with your sexuality, but they're concerned that this relationship might not be best for you emotionally or physically, take the time to listen to them. I will admit that in cases like these, it is important that you listen to those who have had more life experience. There are resources online for signs of an abusive relationship, which I'll put down in the description. If that's what your parents are concerned about, read over them and really take a hard look, because in some ways, parents can be insightful, and I'm going to hear it from my mother for saying that, because I don't always listen to her, and now, mom, you can reference this video every time I say I know more than you about something. On the other hand, if it's just a case where your parents are afraid that you're gonna have some sort of heartache when the relationship ends but they don't want to see you go through that, remind them that they've probably had their own heartache in their life and that they've probably come out the other side better for it with a better understanding of how good relationships work. I was talking to a friend earlier today about this video and he told me about how breaking up with someone and having those emotions allows you to feel empathy for others who have gone through the same thing. And empathy is an amazing part of the human experience, being able to talk to someone, being able to comfort someone. As much as breaking up with someone might suck. The idea that you might break up with someone one day should never be the reason that you aren't in a relationship. I hope this video makes sense. If you have any ideas of your own or how you think you would handle a situation where your parents don't like someone you're dating, please leave those ideas in the comments. Next week, Caitlin will be temping for Avery, so leave any personal questions you have for her down in the comments. Also, feel free to ask me any questions. Just preface the question with who you're aiming it to. If it's aimed to me, I'll answer it in the comments, and if it's aimed for Caitlin, she might answer it in next week's video. Please like this video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to keep seeing videos from LGBTV. You can find me almost anywhere on the web, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, all the links are in the description, and I will see you sometime soon. I don't know when, so gay it forward. It's also ridiculously hot in here, so I may this video without wearing pants.